Hey guys, what's up? It's Fearsword11 here, and today I'm back with another episode of the Game Breaker tutorial series. And today is going to be the final episode of this series. It has come to an end. And in this episode, I'm going to be covering to make different menus. So like when you finish the game, you get a menu with like extras and stuff like that. And I'm just going to show you how to load that up. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work a bit with the night screen and the main menus. Okay, so first off, you're going to want to get the main menu normal and you can simply just duplicate it and just name it like complete or finished or just something like, something like that. Basically, this is your menu when you get when you beat the game. And basically, this is kind of what I've made. So I just kind of did something kind of like Fight at the Blitz where I have the extras. I removed Rick from the menu and it looks pretty similar and I think it looks pretty nice. And I also added the red static, which was pretty easy. So that's going to basically be like my complete menu. So how are we going to get there and make it to where once you complete the game, it'll load up to get there? Well, that's what we're going to get on into. So right here, I made an object called menu loader. Now make sure it's not visible. Make sure the depth is just all the way up. So that way it's kind of just like an item basically kind of like this one right here. Um, but it's a very, 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 very simple thing. So right here, you just build a create event and you have some load game events with uh with this sort of event now i'm gonna get onto what that means so first off you're gonna want to make two different saves one for the complete and one for the normal menu so what we're gonna just want to do is you're gonna want to put the complete uh menu up here and the normal menu down here so basically if you go into control uh main two right here and you drag this one into into it you can click on it and it'll load up a file at like a save basically so we're just gonna call the save uh, we're not actually making the save this loads the saves so we're just gonna say that it's gonna be called main menu complete and then this one is gonna be called main menu normal now make sure that it that the first action is on the complete one why because if it loads up the normal menu before the complete one then it'll never be able to load up the complete one because the normal one is being acted upon before so uh, if you're catching my drift there so you're gonna want to put the main layer complete there and the normal there and then just in case something wrong happens then you're just gonna want to put a go to room to your normal main menu down here or just like a next room if you have it there but I would just recommend that it goes straight to the room so that's basically it for our menu loader very very simple and then now we're gonna have to work a bit on the warning screen so if you guys remember uh, this is basically like our warning screen you know for like this little warning screen menu right here uh, just before the game starts so if we go to alarm zero right here uh, we have it right here we had it to where it was uh, if I remember correctly it would fade to the next room but instead I'm gonna make it the menu loader why because on the warning screen it's gonna go straight to the menu see this is why I went out of the warning screen so we can load into something so with the warning screen it's just gonna load right after that it's going to create this, which will load up the game. And that's honestly basically it for that. So then on the like the little night complete thing, you can just do whatever you want, really. It I'm not going to really do like a step by step thing because that's really just up to you. You can do extras, you can add like a little cutscene or something like that. You know, there's a lot a lot of things you can do. It just all depends on your creativity. So right here, I kind of just made a little bit of a menu, you know, it's like the little extra thing. This doesn't actually work. It's just kind of there for a prop, just to demonstrate to you guys what I mean by this. And that's basically like our complete menu. So now, make sure that you have all this correctly. Oh yeah, and also, almost forgot one thing. Where you have to make the saves to actually save the game. So it's very, very simple again. So we're gonna, we have to make two objects. One for the complete menu and one for the normal menu. So you just set the depth to all the way up as high as you can, kind of like this one, uh, with without being visible, so you don't see it at the corner. And it's simple. So you just make the event to create and to save the game. Now this is where we have to get our uh, file names from. So this is for the normal menu, which will be the first menu that we come across, just this normal menu the one that you get when you first start up the game so right here it's just gonna save main menu normal just like this one 
And remember, this is the second one, not the first one. And for the main menu complete version, same thing as this, you can literally just duplicate this. But on the save game thing, you just want to make it the complete version, which is right up here. And it's that's basically it. So then now you just put it into your room. So you put the normal one, you just go right in here, and you just put it right there. And then you just go into your complete one, and you put the complete one right there. And now, basically what we're doing is when you first first boot up the game, it's going to not have the save made for the complete one. So it's basically like the complete menu just does not exist. So what we're doing here is that it's going to load up just into the normal main menu because it also has not made the save for the normal main menu since you're first booting up the game. Because if you don't have this one, then it's just not going to do anything because these two don't exist yet when you first boot up the game that is um so then it's just going to go to the normal menu but then from there it's going to save into the main menu and like let's say you just complete night one night one and you want to come back later now keep in mind i did not make a load game thing because it's basically the same thing as this you just basically make it save in between just like this one with the same thing where it will load up night five and then night one instead I'll, I, I'm just not trying to confuse you guys right now so I'm just gonna explain this to you so then uh, let's say the person that's playing the game uh, kinda like plays night one and then they get off and then they come back into the thing now it's gonna load up the normal one it's still not going to load up the complete one because we have not gotten there yet so it hasn't made the save for that one but it has made the save for the normal menu so then let's say the person completes the game then when they get to the main menu complete then it's gonna make the save for the complete one so now when they load it up it's gonna have the complete one already there so it's gonna load into the complete menu so I hope you guys got all that so that way you can apply it to your own game and stuff because overall this series is just so that you can get a basis for what like you know the kind of stuff that you want to do and apply it to your own game so now that we have all this done uh, the main menu complete is completely up to you so let's hold up the game it shouldn't really take that long there we go SSDs are amazing dude okay so here we have our warning screen and since this is the first time we're really boning up the game well not in this series oh it seems that I did not exactly uh, delete the saves so yeah th this should not be happening to you it should load up into the normal one so let me go back and fix this really quick so I can demonstrate it to you guys. Okay, so now that I have fixed the issue, we're going to go back into it. Um, I kind of just did a few things. Uh, I basically just changed the save, uh, the name of it on both things, but I'm not going to explain it to you guys just so you guys don't get confused. Okay, so we're loading up into the game. And once this night screen is done, it loads into the main menu because we have not gotten to the complete menu yet because we just started the game up. So then we're just gonna like, you know, just play the game. You know, the person's like, whoever's playing your game is just playing the game with security guard. Eat it at Rick's and Doug's Pizzeria. So then we're gonna go into night one. I'm just using the room skipper, just so you guys don't have to wait. Ooh, we get to night two, and then we, ooh, we finished night two, yay. Now, right after this, we're gonna come right here to the main menu complete screen. So yeah, we made it to the complete screen. And then here you can just do some stuff. I just added like an extra button, but as you can hear, it doesn't actually work because you know, just did it like as a prop, just to demonstrate. So then when we quit out on the game, now that we have the complete save created, it's gonna load up into that first before the normal one, which means that it'll load up right into the complete one because now it's made. So then if we wait a little bit on the warning screen, shouldn't really take that long. Look at that, we're in the extras menu. So yeah, that's basically about it for this episode, the very last episode of the Game Maker tutorial series. Now, one thing that you can do is if you want, you can make like a new game button, you know, that'll like just reset the game. So yeah, that's going to be it for the last episode of this Game Maker tutorial series. You guys so just down in the comments some other stuff that you would want me to show you guys uh, as like bits of extra episodes. Um, I will not be showing mini games though, that is basically just like by making a platform or so. 
you might want to just go ahead and learn how to make a platformer and make that yourself but if you guys want other suggestions like certain mechanics and other stuff like that then be sure to leave it down in the comments and if it's highly requested then i'll be sure to make an episode on it so yeah that's about to be it for this episode of the gaming tutorial series i hope you guys enjoyed it a lot it was a lot of fun making this so yeah be sure to like and subscribe to join the warriors and expand our empire and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye